character, uh, Cody, who I used to watch with my daughter on Bella mm. and the Bulldogs on Nickelodeon. Oh. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Who didn't, Breck? Who didn't? Uh, Breck, of <laughs> course, is Stargirl himself, herself. Uh, and then we have Luke Wilson, who was the star of the documentary called Idiocracy. It's all coming true. It's all coming true. Uh, I got to see the pilot. It is fantastic. It is so much fun. What's it like on the set uh, with this cast? Because the cast is great. Oh, my gosh. We have such a big cast and such a talented cast at that. Um I, I, it was so cool because I was getting to do like emotional scenes with some people and then like comedic scenes with others. So it like definitely kept me on my toes. Um, we, we got to film in Atlanta, which is such a fun city as well. Yeah, I mean, I've never been on a project, you know, this big. So for me, it was really exciting where I feel like I've gotten to do kind of Westerns or play a policeman or a teacher. And, you know, suddenly I'm on a set where there's, you know, like a, Dragon King and Starman and Stargirl and Dr. Fate and all these different people walking around in costumes and, <laughs> and you know, stunt people. And, it, and, the, and we were on three different sound stages and they were always building new stuff. And, you know, they'd be building the villain's lair and then, you know, there'd be a high school set. And, um, yeah, I've just never seen anything like it. And I, I think that'll be one of the interesting things about watching shows just um it moves in and out of these different genres like you see star girl she's a sophomore in high school and you see her with me and the rest of the family and then all the superhero stuff so there's some some different genres at work it's very cool now breck you've got the cosmic staff you know, you're using that they and that thing's what seven feet long did you have to go to like a boot camp kind of thing to because it looked like you could really knock yourself out with it Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm very, I, I am very coordinated, but I'm also very accident prone. <laughs> and so I definitely hit like, you know, the very, very, very expensive camera with this six foot staff <laughs> multiple oh. times. And they would always be like, Oh, do we worry about the camera? Do we worry about the staff? I don't know. They're both expensive. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, they put me in like a, a stunt training camp where I was like learning how to be on wires and learning how to work with the staff and, um, it was, it was cool. My, the stunt team in general though, is was amazing. We were so lucky to get them. It is, it, it is unbelievable big time. It really is. <laughs> I mean, it, it looks like you were saying, Luke, it feels like a movie and yeah, you guys are going to be like that every week. Yeah. I mean, to me, it like felt like some of those Spielberg movies, like ET, like just the way it kind of looked and felt at the beginning and, uh, yeah, it'll be fun. It's like you get to watch a new movie every week. So that's that's really exciting. Not just, I mean, just as an actor, that's exciting to me. But I, uh, I can't wait to watch it myself. Uh, I tomorrow saw, night. Saw, oh, yeah, tomorrow night. So soon. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. We got to go. Or I would talk to you about an hour and a half about this. Because I'm serious. <laughs> I love it. And I cannot wait for people at home to watch it. Because it's fantastic. Uh, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. right here on CW31. Thank you, guys. Have a good nice one. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.